Hey guys, welcome to Get Inspired Spiritually. Today we are going to learn how to practice Shat Chakra Yoga, Aka Third Eye Meditation. Before we start the practice, we need to understand certain philosophical concepts, which are actually the foundation of uh, the you know, any sorts of meditation, right from Vipassana or Shat Chakra Yoga or even advanced forms of meditation like Rudra Kriya, Kriya, Yoga Nidra, Chakra Dhyana. So these concepts that we are going to learn now are going to be the foundation of all of these meditation. Without these two concepts, you cannot practice any meditation at all. So what are those concepts? Uh, mainly like, you know, these concepts are mindful detachment and non-judgmentalism. Mindful detachment, as the very term implies, uh, mindful, it, it, I mean, it is the process where you mindfully detach yourself from uh, any event or any sort of thoughts, biases, prejudices that pops up in your mind or while you are practicing meditation. So basically when you start to practice the meditation, you will have quite a lot of thoughts uh, or any sorts of judgments, I mean recollection of memories or any sort of thing. But uh, what mindful detachment, uh, you know, as per if you follow this philosophical concept, you should detach yourself from whatever that comes in your mind. And the second one is non-judgmentalism. Uh, this is one of the very popular concepts uh, and also the fundamental concepts applied in each and every form of meditation. Uh, the very term implies, you know, you should be non-judgmental towards everything and everyone. Especially when you are, like as previously stated, you will get quite a lot of thoughts, uh, notions, biases, prejudices while you are meditating. Uh, you should remain uh, non-judgmental or don't judge anything at all or try to interpret them uh, and judge them like this is good or bad or any sort of thing. So why we are telling you is like these are actually the cradles of meditation. Without this any meditation can't be performed. So and uh, like you know let's start the practice. Before we uh, start any meditation we will do Analoma Viloma Pranayama. Uh, so uh, you know hold your hands like this especially like this. Take your mouth and close the first nostril, nostril. Take, exhale, exhale from your left nostril. Inhale, close the left nostril. Exhale from the right nostril. Now inhale, close, exhale. So like that, you practice it. You have, you should practice it to around like for around five rounds. Like you know, each round, one inhalation, exhalation, and inhalation, exhalation. Uh, will be one round or one cycle of uh, you know analog vilom pranayama it is advisable to practice you know five rounds of analog viloma pranayama because it balances your energy right from your rida and pingala nadi uh, we will we will cover as we will cover all these concepts in a separate video about uh, nadis and chakras uh, so let's now start with this practice analog viloma pranayama Close your eyes. I mean, first close your eyes. Exhale off all the air in your lungs. Inhale. Close. Exhale from the right nostril. Inhale. Close. Exhale from the left nostril. Now inhale from the left nostril. Close. Exhale from the right nostril, inhale from the right nostril, close, exhale from the right nostril. So this you should do it for 5 rounds before starting, starting any spiritual practice. Coming to the third eye meditation, third eye meditation or Shat Chakra Yoga. So basically I mean just to give a brief of uh, the chakras that are present uh, in the body. I mean, that are actually not present in the body, but inside our soul. Uh, there are basically seven chakras, right from Muladhara to Sahasra. We will not go more in detail in this video because we are going to cover it in a separate video. So please stay tuned, St subscribe to our channel, like and share this video. And uh, starting from it, like, you know, the Shat Chakra or the Sixth Chakra refers to the Agnya Chakra, which is, which, which is present in between your eyebrows or bhru mandala or bhru so this is called like you know the shat chakra or the third eye 
again there is uh, you know uh, it is also called pituitary gland or pineal gland inside your brain that is linked to your soul uh, so this meditation uh, has got some similarities to vipassana the buddhist the very basic form of buddhist meditation uh, one of the similar i mean similarities and differences one of the similarities is like you know both these meditations uh, involve uh, apply these uh, two philosophical concepts like you know the mindful detachment and non judgmentalism uh, and the other thing is the difference is like here we apply dharana or the focus what you call dharana is a very comprehensive term i agree with it but uh, here in this context dharana means focus where you focus on this point so that that you know whatever the calcium that uh, that is that has encircled your pineal gland gets declassified and that activates your third eye and again chakra activations is a very you know uh, tedious and uh, painful process and it requires uh, decades of sadhana i mean for each and everything so i mean again decades of sadhana is again it is very specific to that person uh, for some people like you know they will be they get uh, chakras are activated for within 15 days or one month so there are lot of things but it is completely subjective to each person uh, however like you know by practicing third eye meditation uh, the calcium that has encircled your pineal gland or pituitary gland gets decalcified and your third eye is activated so why wait let's start to practice so now as previously stated like you know after practicing uh, you know five rounds of anuloma uh, viloma pranayama uh, please you have to close your eyes so once you close your eyes you can observe you have to observe the inhalation and exhalations that are happening for if you observe in this part you can see that when you inhale cold air is entering your nostril once you exhale you can actually feel hot air exhaling out of your lungs through the nostrils so focus on this point or where your agna chakra is present observe in what stage are you in are you in the phase of inhalation or you are exhalation if you closely observe your nostril you will find some sounds for each sound it has got some sound and exhalation produces some sound but you have to be very cautious and careful on sounds and the sensations that are happening inside your nostrils and also in your head region your each inhalation and exhalation actually produces quite a lot of sensations in your entire body however you are not mindful that's why you can't observe them and you are not conscious of them so you are each inhalation you should observe where it is going and focus on this point you can see quite a lot of sensations happening in your nostril as well as in your head region observe those sensations in the form of sounds or movement or anything whatever that comes in your mind in the form of thoughts memories or anything detach yourself from those things be non judgmental and mindfully detached whatever that comes in the mind just remind yourself just observe them don't react don't do anything just let them go especially this pingala nadi is known for overthinking all your rational thinking will happen from your right part of the brain i mean right nadi right side of your body which is linked to your left cerebral hemisphere so there will be quite a lot of thoughts coming in your mind thoughts whatever that it comes just let them flow don't react don't judge 
remind yourself that they are not you before you sit also you can remind yourself that i am not this body i am not this thought i am not this mind or brain or physical body i am just a soul i am just here to be aware to be present in this moment stay in this moment observe those sensations that are coming uh, that are happening in your body as a resultant as a result of your breathing inhalation and exhalation be mindfully detached non judgmental stay in that moment observe the happenings or sensations on real time basis then you will you will derive some bliss from this practice whatever might be the stress whatever might be your worries everything all problems will fade away when you learn to observe these sensations that are happening it is advisable to focus on one point especially in exactly in the center point whatever the center in between your eyebrows you can observe some sensations that are actually happening inside your pineal or pituitary gland which extends from lower part of your eyebrow to till your uh, you know southern up uh, and northernmost tip of your brain stay in the moment don't be distracted relax yourself be in the moment observe the sensations in the beginning you practice it you sit for about 10 minutes you may be feeling that uh, you want to get up or open your eyes please don't do that sit continuously for 10 minutes and gradually you increase it to 15 minutes then gradually to 20 half an hour and an hour hope this inspires you thank you so much